As you read that uh, petition, Honorable Speaker, I noticed that the Honorable Njeri Maina was actually on TikTok. <laughs> Is that correct? Go on, go on. And Honorable Speaker, many of us, including myself, Honorable Speaker, I am on TikTok. Unashamedly. And uh, my deputy whip here says she's also on TikTok. And there is nothing criminal, there is nothing evil being on TikTok, Honorable Speaker. I am also on Snapchat, Honorable Speaker. And all these apps are my teenage daughters who have downloaded them on my phone, shown me how to use them. Therefore, Honorable Speaker, as much as I feel what Mr. Ndolo says, there could be an element of abuse of all these apps. Uh, but Honorable Speaker, we cannot, as a house, preside over the banning, outright banning, of any app. We cannot fight with technology. Honorable Speaker, what uh, probably Honor, uh, Ndolo should have done is to petition the house, and maybe that's what uh, the relevant committee should do, is to look at ways how you regulate the use of these apps, how you restrict the age group that will be able to use these apps, how the Communications Authority of Kenya and uh, ICT authorities will be able to regulate the content that is being uploaded for viewership uh, to, to be able to view, for age groups that are not supposed to see certain content, uh, are not able to see. But Honorable Speaker, outright banning will also be killing careers. Honorable Speaker, I know and I've been to some establ establishment in Lovington where uh, they have established a digital village. And in fact, around the country, Honorable Speaker, it's part of government efforts to establish studios where young men and women back in our villages can have studios where they can create content for use on TikTok.